Arizona head coach Rich Rodriguez, wide receiver Nate Phillips, and defensive lineman Sonny Fuimayono gathered at the Lowe's Hotel in Hollywood for the first of Pac-12 media days. Coach Rodriguez acknowledged the off-season changes he has implemented, most notably the dismissal of defensive coordinator Jeff Castile. We've made a few changes, uh, particularly on defense, which was the most difficult thing I've done in my coaching career as far as making some changes with some very good coaches, outstanding people. But I felt at the time we were in a little bit of a rut. U of A hired new defensive coordinator Marcel Yates from Boise State, which was the change that they needed. There's kind of a renewed enthusiasm, I guess is the right way to, to, to talk about it on defense. And then hopefully offensively we could take another step, stay healthy, and have some success. Fui Mayono echoed the thoughts of Rodriguez and even ventured that such a major change in the coaching staff shows the positive direction change of the program. Coach made a huge, you know, a huge statement by bringing a whole new, new defensive staff. So, I mean, I think that speaks volumes for itself that that defensive staff that he brought in um, helped spark that, that enthusiasm or bring that enthusiasm that we have. On offense, it's still a quarterback battle between Anu Solomon and Brandon Dawkins. Despite both being on even footing, wide receiver Nate Phillips is comfortable no matter who gets the green light. Through fall camp and coming into the season, we had worked with both quarterbacks, so that chemistry was there between both of them, so making the transition from one to the other wasn't that big of a jump. It was more so just a different player playing quarterback. With new changes at the helm, Coach Rodriguez and his players will hope to bounce back from their 7-6 2015 campaign. I'm Alex Capriello with the Cronkite Sports Bureau in Los Angeles.